everyone, it's Jenny, and today is Makeup of the Week Day, and I'm back to the Black Caboodles bag, which I love. This is from the Bestie. I love that Caboodles bag. So, let's find out what makeup products I'm going to be using this week. I uh, do have a few new items. Um, you're probably going to see a haul video. You'll probably see this video first, and then a haul video that me and my sister are going to do probably later today. Um, but let's see what items I'm going to be using this week. So, I always go in order of application. It's just easier that way for me, the way I apply my makeup. So, first off is this Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. I got this in a Play by Sephora box. And almost every product I've tried from Peter Thomas Roth, I have really, really liked. Uh, this is really good. Um, even it's a mattifying and even though I like more of a um, hydrating glowy primer this one is still really good especially like in my nose area and my chin so really good and then my uh, color correcting spot concealing I've got the L'Oreal infallible this is the pro color corrector um, which I love this shade right here for like underneath my eyes and then this hey honey I'm almost out of it and oh, devastation and this is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat uh, Active Cream Concealer. Uh, this is a really, really great concealer. It does great on my chin area. It does great around my nose. Because I get a lot of redness like on my nose and my chin. A little bit on my cheeks too. So, foundation this week is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I do like this foundation, but I think this is probably the last week. Um, it, it's on its last leg. Um, time for it to... Uh, go into the empties after this week so like I said I do really like it I would probably repurchase in the future but there's some other foundations I really want to try um, but it is a good one and then another item that's on its last leg it's the wet n wild uh, color concealer and this was in the shade I want to say light ivory it's a little bit too pink toned for my skin but it still works but I got another concealer it's a new concealer and I watched Wayne Goss's video on this. Anybody else watch Wayne Goss? I love him. Uh, he, he gets right to the point on his stuff. And it's the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's uh, They redid it because I know I love the original Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, but you do get a lot of product in here. It's 15 mils, so that's really good. Um, it almost looks like a little bottle of foundation. Um, the one thing I kind of don't like is the huge doe foot applicator which i know the shape tape has that too i like a smaller applicator anybody else uh how do you prefer your concealer applicators do you like them the huge doe foots or do you kind of like them a little bit like a paddle a little bit i know the naked skin is more of like a paddle a little bit smaller and um, so powder is the Too faced uh born this way ethereal setting powder i have heard a lot of good stuff about this uh setting powder and uh, I used it today. I have to say I do really love it. It's probably going to be a favorite. Just, just a heads up. Then for my contouring and whatnot, it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light. And this is such a great palette. Plus, I love the mirror on it. But uh, this shade right here is a great contour shade for me. This is a great uh, under eye bright, brightening shade. And then these two are really get great crease shades for your eyeballs because I'm using some singles. I'm not using a, a palette this week. I need to pull out some of my single shadows and give them some use. Um, for blush and bronzer, it's the Super BB Physicians Formula in Light Medium. I do like this, although I think it's getting to the end of its lifespan. I kind of want to hit pan on this, and then the highlighter I'm using is the Physicians Formula, the Mineral Pearl, which this is pretty. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but um, it's a very, very, if you like a natural highlight, then you would love this, because it's a very, very pretty natural highlight. It's what I do have on today. Uh, it's very work appropriate, I will say that, but I love wearing bling and highlight, and I'll wear bling and highlight to work. I don't care. That's just me. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total uh, Concealing and Contouring. I have this. Um, in every makeup of the week. I probably shouldn't even mention it, but I always do uh, to carve out my brows. And then I've got the Tanya Cook, Tanya Crooks, the brow gal. Love this stuff. And I'm really enjoying this Revlon. Um, 
It's the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. It's really good. Then eye primer is the Kat Von D High Voltage. I do like this. I don't think you can buy this or it may be in different packaging. It may be called something else. I'm not sure. So let's get into the singles. Um, I've got the Stila, the uh, Magnificent uh, Metals, the Glitter. I'm planning on going to the fair this week and I want to wear that for the fair. And this is the Elf, just the Molten Liquid Gold Eyeshadow. Another great shadow I can wear to work. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick. Then this Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadow. I just think this is a really pretty color. I will swatch it for you. I'm wearing it on my eyeballs today. Just really pretty. Um, and then this is the Urban Decay in Vanilla and Urban Decay in Roach. These are really great shades. This is great like for an inner highlight, inner corner highlight. This is just great for overall lid. And then this right here is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Metal Eyeshadow and it is Super pretty. I love wearing this. Let me see if I can swatch this one for you too. Just so you can see. So there's there. There's there. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. So pretty. And then for eyeliners, I've got the Vizanti Kajal Waterline Eyeliner. And then the Kat Von D, the Tattoo Liner. Probably one of my favorite liquid liners. And this is the Tristique Mini Eye Pencil. It's sort of a brown. And then mascara, this is not new, but it's new to me. I have finally got on the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise bandwagon, so that's the mascara I'm using. So that's everything for my makeup of the week. Let me know what products you're wearing this week. Do you like any of the products I mentioned? Let me know. Um, leave the comments, love to read them. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button so I know that you like this video. And like I said, make sure you're subscribed, hit the little notification bell because I'm going to be doing a giveaway here very soon. And with that, have a fabulous day. Bye.